I like beating up British people. Maybe I should get a British passport. It just happens to be that they are always in my weight class and I have to beat them up. This will be the third guy I'm going to beat. I'm going for the hat trick. I beat George Groves and I consider the draw against James DeGale as a victory. To be honest, I think I've got more British fans than I do Swedish fans. I love the UK and I'd love to fight there one day. Those are the words of former WBC super middleweight world champion Badu Jack. He's talking ahead of his fight at light heavyweight on the weekend against the WBA regular champion Nathan Cleverly, another British fighter. What do you feel about this, people? I mean, when you read the headline initially, you're thinking that Badu Jack's being disrespectful. But I guess he's just being humorous and whatnot. He says he's probably got more fans in the UK than he does in Sweden, which I can believe because Sweden is not really a big boxing country. Until a few years ago, boxing was actually illegal in Sweden. They banned it for, I think, several decades. So it's not really a big boxing country. And Badu Jack had to leave his native Sweden and go to the United States to pursue his boxing career. And in the fights that he had with George Groves and James DeGale, he would have certainly gained a lot of respect from the British boxing public. And yeah, he would have gained a few fans because he's a quiet, unassuming type of character who just gets in there and does his work. He's not really a trash talker. He's just a guy that goes in and gets the job done. So he's definitely got a fair amount of respect from a large portion of British fans. And uh, he says he'd like to fight in the UK one day. It'll probably happen. As far as his fight against Nathan Cleverly for the WBA regular belt, as most of you probably know, I'm picking Badu Jack to win the fight. It's not like I think Cleverly's got no chance. I think it will be a good fight. Cleverly's tough. He's durable. He throws a lot of punches. But I just feel like Badu Jack is the guy with the quality. And it's happening on the Mayweather undercard, so... Unless Cleverly really puts a hellacious beating on Badu Jack, I can't see him holding onto his belt. Can't see it. I see Badu Jack winning the fight. And maybe Cleverly sensing that he needs a stoppage might leave himself more open and vulnerable to being stopped himself. That's what I suspect might happen. Perhaps late on, if a stoppage is going to happen, I'd say... Cleverly might get stopped late on. But I'm still going for Badu Jack to win the fight on points. Anyway, let me know what you feel about Badu Jack's comments here, people. How do you, uh, you know, how do you take them? Drop it all in the comment section below. Let me know how you feel. It's happening, I'm out.